I'm Eddie Rodolfo Aparicio, and we're at the Hammer Museum. My biggest collaborator is the material itself, and by that I just also mean like being really, really sensitive to how the material is moving and the decisions that it's kind of doing on its own. Amber material has such an interesting relationship to light. It's always thought of as the sunstone because it absorbs energy. Working with this amount, I just like, I, I come near it and all of my hair stands up every single time. And it's it, something about the like molecular structure of it like captures static and captures energy and holds it. There's a lot of found objects and domestic items like plates and knives and forks and things that were given to me or I found on the street walking around different, you know, Central American communities that I grew up in. For me, it was always thinking about like, what's near me, what's like my experience growing up and what is like my experience now and how can I think about the materials around me in a way that like is connected to that. I think that's something I've always found a lot of like power in for myself and motivation is in like looking at my own family's story. I always kind of look for moments where I can put more meaning in, not like the need to, to simplify so that other people can read it as more legible, but you know, everything is super complex, even however simple it seems, you're only looking at it from one aspect. And so I could talk about the same work probably 20 different ways because I try to think about the work as non-hierarchical in its meaning. You know, people tell me a story about something that the piece reminds them of, and then that a lot of times becomes part of my understanding of the work. I, I love the idea that the piece moves because I think that's kind of how memory works also. Memory is never fixed, it's always kind of in motion. And so the way that we approach archiving is just trying to, you know, as an artist, it's like, oh, well, how long is this going to stay in this exact state? Nothing ever stays in the same state. And this idea to try to preserve it is almost this colonial impulse to try to um, control. <laughs>